this is food styling 101 so this is our first day and the first thing that you eat every time you go to a restaurant is the appetizer one that will really give you appetite to eat so anyway we proceed to this kind of uh, food styling you will learn of course seeing watching us i will not be able maybe to taste your food later you'll not be able to taste it but you will see how good and delicious this would be so it would be the method on how you will do it okay how you will prepare it and this is food styling so i'm going to grade you in your outputs later the style on how you're going to plate the dish okay so i'm with a chef now hi lawrence Pila. Okay, some of you already know him for some of my students. Uh, he has been working in the cruise ship for how many years, Chef? Uh, this is uh, running six years. Six years. And he has been to hot and cold dishes. Okay, so today we are giving you a cold dish. Yeah. Uh, I have uh, one cold dish. That's the appetizer one. I have two hot appetizers. So the first one is it's called cucumber cups. Second one is our famous, but my version, you call it dynamite rolls. And the third one is uh, onion rings in Cajun flavor. Okay. And additional to that, I also made three kinds of dip or two kinds of dressing and one dip okay so we will proceed later but first of all you might see us in its covid time of course we are certified okay quality certificates that we have here so we'll not be using our mask we're clean we're safe okay so these are our certificate proving that we can actually discuss we can taste this because we are safe okay so we will proceed so um we would like you to learn watch on how you're going to do this because later on we're going to have a return demo and that's what i'm going to create so welcome so we have our first chef okay so the first appetizer it's called dynamite rolls so what are the ingredients first you have your green chili the long ones and then you have the lumpia wrapper so you can have uh, the white one or the yellow one and then next to that is of course our stuffing what could go in our stuffing first things first the cheese, that's, that's the most important one. That's my favorite as well, or everybody's favorite. What could go inside there? For me, what I did is, I cook a small amount of breast chicken. I season it with salt, pepper, a little of basil, and then I have to boil it. Don't overcook the meat, right? And then you have to set it aside you cool it down, you chop it, or you slice it into pieces. That's how you do it. And then, what's going to happen next? If this is the, the chili, if this is the chili, you have to cut it on the side, and then you take out the seeds. Once you take it out, set it aside, you do it on the next. So right now, I prepared one, two, three, four pieces. Now, you might be asking what is appetizer appetizer is what it is a very small amount of food where it's like a starters only before taking the main course or the the, uh, the main food when you're dining in, let's say in a restaurant or you're dining in a, uh, somewhere else like a bistro so it's a small amount of food so after that one we're gonna prepare your sliced cheese what cheese any you could use our local like the eden cheese or mozzarella so that, that's the two that i use today what you're gonna do the chopped chicken you put it inside the sliced pepper or the, the chili and then cut the the cheese into strips 
You put it inside, you roll it with your lumpia wrapper. So hi, um, we're here to demonstrate to you how to make the dynamite, dynamite rolls. rolls. Okay, so you have your cheese. So our cheese has already been pre-cut and we have our chicken, okay, has already been pre-cut. And you see we are going to place this, of course you have already removed the seeds of the pepper, so your pepper. Gonna be delicious. Maanghang ito at masarap ito. That's why it's called dynamite rolls. Okay. So watch how we're gonna wrap it so that uh, it's gonna uh, when you fry it, it's not going to fall out. Okay. So chef, how we're gonna do it? So how you do it? So first, so this is already you have to cut it any side and then make sure you make sure you take out the the seeds inside. So how do you take out? You can use your finger or you can use a small teaspoon. You take it from there. So prepare your co your lumpia wrapper. You fill the chicken inside. This is already pre-cooked, guys. And then you put your cheese. All right? So this one, it's not just rolling, okay? So you fold it in half there or closer para makita yung chili nyo. So, you move it there, do it slowly, there. Oops, guys, how do you seal it? Here, there is a glass of water here, soak your finger, then that's how you do it. That's how you seal your lumpia wrapper. There. And, that's the finished product of your dynamite rolls. There. So, we have already our dynamite here. Our oil is already hot and we're going to, we're ready to fry it. Okay, it's going to be deep fried. So, you have, of course, the pepper. Okay, you have your nuclear pepper. It's going to be crispy. Okay, here you are. By the way, guys, don't overcook the the lumpia wrapper or the dynamite roll. So, sakto lang, sakto lang. Make sure it doesn't turn black. <laughs> it should be golden brown. And it's ready in 10 seconds. Why? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine ten, ten. And then we're done. There you go. Okay. And of course, you have to drain the excess oil. So everything is prepared here. Okay? That's it. Okay, we're into plating now. So watch and learn. Okay, when it comes to when it comes to plating, guys. Make sure it's not over designed and not also too much of your food. So right now the main star is our dynamite roll. So first I'm gonna put a little of the garnish. So there, that's our fresh lettuce from our where? Local Baguio City Market. So there you go. As you can see. There is a line that you're that, that is your guide. Right? Okay, how about we prepare ni chef yung ating um, plating? So you have here lettuce. So marami tayong klase ng lechugas. So anyway, in your basic culinary or kitchen essentials, you already learned what are the different kinds of lettuce. You can buy this from our local market. That is part of the garnishing to add color to our food. Remember, appetizers are bite sizes, but it's how you prepare it, how you do the plating, and this is basically food styling. Okay, go, chef. Okay. So we have the sauce now. There you are. We have our dynamite. Fried, crispy to the bite. 
There you go. There you go now. This is one special tool that you will have to buy and use. It's an ordinary... It's a tweezer. Tweezer. Yeah. Yes, but it has to be clean, tweezer, for food. Okay, so that you can have all this. After this, is bell pepper. Yeah, it's bell pepper. By the way, how do you do that, guys? If you slice the bell pepper, melon call it the second layer. You slice it again. So make sure it's just... What's left is only the skin of the bell pepper. And by the way, guys, ha, don't be so extravagant. You can set that aside. And then you could like cook a viand for your family. Never, never throw excess from the vegetable. You can reuse that one. Yeah. There you go, ma'am. Okay. And that's our this dynamite is balls. our dynamite balls. And by the way, guys, I got a surprise for you. Yeah. It goes with a little of ranch dressing. There is a ranch dressing. There you go. Okay, so while we're preparing our ranch uh, dressing, here we are. Okay, tanong ngayon ni Mr. John Ticochet, paano daw gagawin yung ranch dressing? Okay. There are many variations of uh, how you make the ranch dressing. For me, what I did earlier is a little of garlic. I minced the garlic, a little of pepper. And of course, we have our mayonnaise and a little of milk. And that's my ranch dressing. Okay, so anaidagdag sa ating garlic sauce is milk and that's the secret for your ranch dressing if it's just simply mayonnaise with garlic that's already good and that's the garlic sauce and okay. additional to that ma'am if you want to make uh, a ranch dressing or a garlic sauce uh by scratch what you do is you can use the eggs and then you have to use your blender you blend it slowly you put your vegetable oil slowly and until it becomes double the size. Okay, the yeah. mayo making. Okay, yes. so you have it there. We're on to our second appetizer. appetizer. So this is called onion rings. Cajun flavor. Cajun flavor. So it's pretty simple. You have here the onions that have been sliced and they're circular. What onion are you going to use? You're going to use the white onion because we have different varieties of onions. Okay, so these ones are the American onion, the white one, and they're the big ones. And this is going to be crispy, delicious, and appetizing. You have also here the egg where you're going to dip it. And of course, one that is special is going to be hot. And Chef is going to tell us later on what he added here to make it really hot. Okay, so additional to what Mamchit was telling, by the way, the onions is also what? You include this to your vegetable salad. So it's not just only for sauteing, so it's also for a vegetable salad. Now, what I did earlier, this is your onions, okay? So make sure when you peel it, make sure to just cut the end tip, okay? Not so much. Don't damage the onions, all right? So peel it properly, and then now, make sure your knife is sharp. You have to cut it slowly, slowly, slowly until you're going to have the size. By the way, what's the preferred size? At least one centimeter. Or it's up to you. You can have it not so thick, guys, but this is the preferred size. Okay? And this is what you call the first breading station. So it's just with plain flour. This is your egg. Beaten egg. You can put little amount of salt and pepper. This is the second breading station or the breading. It's a mixture of flour, breadcrumbs, pepper, paprika, and cajun. So it's a little bit spicy, but guess what, guys? Uh, I have to balance our 
onion ring. So it's not that spicy. I have also a special dip here. It's called honey mustard. And I make a little of a surprise. So it's called now, you call it a fusion. So if you know guys yung sandwich spread natin, I boiled egg, two pieces, I mash it, I mix mayo, I mix pickles, mayonnaise, a little of pepper, garlic powder, and of course the fresh garlic, and then mustard, Worcestershire. Okay, so here, what's gonna happen is, that's your onion rings with the flour, you dip it, make sure guys, the other hand stays on the dry part, the other hand stays on your wet side. So, you transfer it to your left. Sir, question, pwede po bang left-handed rin? Yes, of course, vice versa. Don't mix things up. Here you go. Yeah. Pwede rin double breading. There, you, you can return it there, take it from your other hand, tapos ganun ulit. And, there you go. That is your Cajun onion ring. There you go, that's the finished product. And then it's ready for frying. Okay. There. So we're gonna fry that. It's going to be deep fry, similar to your um, dynamite. Okay, deep fry po ito. So again, you know, Lately Chef, okay, from the first here, you know, with the flour and the onion, then to the eggs, and then to the second coating. And binabalik po para maging makapal po yung kanyang coatings. Okay, si Chef po ay, Chef po siya sa isang barko. And this is the Royal Caribbean. So I know and I'm thinking most of you are going to work there later. Of course, with the help of Chef. Okay. okay, and by the way, guys, I'm doing two methods, guys. Huh? With uh, Mom Chit earlier, I was telling is uh, we're handling or we are preparing two kinds of appetizer, two process, or two methods. We have the hot appetizer and the cold appetizer. So, this is the second hot appetizer, and it's ready for frying, ma'am. Okay. okay, hi. We're already frying and our oil is already hot, real hot. And our onion rings is going to be hot. Why do you think you have packet pa, Chef? Kailangan manghang ang mga appetizers. I understand uh, ang mga maanghang it. Siya yung nagdadagdag ng more appetite to eat. Okay, the palate. It makes it more exciting. Wow, exciting. Especially, especially pag... Uh, Especially, for example, mm -hmm. your 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 main course is uh, let's say steak. For example, mm -hmm. this will like you know uh, warm up your palate. Yes. yes. Okay. So may tapo yung ating mantika. Lalagay na po natin yung ating onion rings. Okay. Here we are. Okay. So crispy. same thing, guys. When we are when, when we fry the, the dynamite rolls, you have to control your fire. So medium fire lang siya, para hindi masunog yung wet, so that our onion rings will not burn. Okay, abilisan lang di ito. Hot, hot, hot. Okay. If the oil is very hot, it won't even take you one minute. It won't take you one minute. Okay, we're done. And we're ready for our plating. Again, you have to drain the excess oil. So we're here with our plating for our onion rings. We have a elongated plate. Anyway, you can use any kind of plate, whatever you have at home. But make it simple, plain plate. Don't choose a plate that is so colorful that will overpower your food. So your plate has to be simple because your emphasis is your food. Okay, ready, chef. Okay. Right now, if you're looking 
I have a plain long plate as well. So it's not that really nice if you're gonna just put the onion rings on the plain plate. So we're calling, that's why we're calling this food and styling. What is this earth? This is what? This is the, the boiled egg, mixture of your mustard, Worcestershire, pickles, pepper, and mayonnaise, right? Just a little of amount, there, and then you slide it. Okay, there. Then, you onion rings natin. Our onion rings, Cajun onion rings. And then, of course, you, since we, we use already lettuce on the dynamite rolls, this could be also different. So let me just run quickly, put a little of my thick vinaigrette here. There you go. That's it. And then of course, it's my extra time bell pepper, a little of color. Here. So we have here our second one that is with the cucumber, cucumber cups. You have the cucumber, dalagyan ko lang natin yung ating sardines, sardines with egg. Okay. Parang scrambled lang siya guys. Okay. It just goes with the uh, sardines. Yes. Our regular sardines ah. Huh? Youngstown. <laughs> pipe, pipe, pipe. Pwede na. Kung anong available kayo dyan na galing sa inyong ayuda. Pero I'm sure yung ayuda nyo ubus na. Ito, masarap. Guys, tinago ko to kasi favorite ko yung sardines. Oo. Oh. Siyempo, labang ganyan sa ibang bansa. Meron, kaya lang, mahal, ma'am. Sobrang mahal. mahal oh. Oh. And then you're gonna use it for an appetizer thing. Yeah. So, I'm placing now the ha thousand dressing. So, konti lang para tatayo yung cucumber. Okay? Kasi kung wala, ito yung parang pinaka-base niya. Sasayaw po yung ating cucumber. Okay, this is the one that's going to hold it, your sauce. So, dun po natin ilalagay yung ating cucumber. Food and styling. Food styling, this is it. Okay, then we add again the sauce. May konting anghang po ito. Kaya masarap talaga. Eh kung yung tuna din na gagamitin nyo, eh maanghang din, ay di mas masarap na naman. Okay. So, And then your alfalfa. Alpha okay. So we have our alfalfa. Pero you know what guys? How I know alfalfa? Parang siyang baby na watercress eh. It's like a baby. You call this microgreens. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Okay, so this is it. We have our uh, cucumber rings, our cups. Okay. We have here our dynamite rolls. Dynamite rolls. And we have onion rings. Cajun flavor. Okay. So we have it here. Which one? You want? Oh, this one? Oh, okay. We sauce natin it all at the meron. Egg. Egg. Okay. So, yan po siya. Okay. There you are. Nalagay ko to. 
Are you talking cucumber? Yes. Okay. And one more onion ring. Maybe to add color, if you like and you wish to, you can add now. Your lettuce. Your lettuce. Okay. This is romaine. Romaine lettuce. We have it there. So you can be very creative. You make use of what you have. So alternate. We have it. You're going to use this one. Yes. Use this. Yeah. Ano yung pwede natin ilagay na sauce, Chef? What do you recommend? Para combine nito. The honey mustard. Honey mustard. Okay. So ilagay natin. Dagdag ko na lang. So, para mas maarte siya. It's now a combination of these two hot appetizers. Okay. So, we have it here. Later, in your return demo, you're going to create your own and you will have to make this. It could be similar to this. Again, it will depend on what ingredients you have at home. So, hindi naman kailangan special yung inyong mga equipments. All you have to do is to be very creative. Okay, so Chef, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Yes. I enjoyed um, it, man. I hope nag-enjoy kayo. Yung aming live din, sana nag-enjoy kayo. <laughs> we're live, actually. <laughs> and we're out there watching your comments and suggestions. I do hope you have learned. And... Sana nga wish lang namin matikman nyo to. Grabe ang sarap-sarap. So ulitin ko lang si Chef ko ay galing sa Royal Caribbean. He's been there for 6 years. Okay, wish natin lahat babalik po at babalik ang cruise ship. So we can also travel and go wherever we would like to go around the world. See you next week. Thank you so much. But first of all, we would like to thank our cameraman. Our cameraman who's out there really working for our lights. Thank you. Sir Bob. Yes. <laughs>